So my name is Karen Parco. I'm a neurologist. I work at the San Francisco VA where I co-direct the Epilepsy Center. Internally what's happening is an electrical discharge in the brain. And the brain normally communicates with itself and with the body by electrical and chemical discharges. When a seizure happens, a group of neurons, our brain cells, have an electrical discharge that is, gets a little bit off course from normal communication. When a patient has a seizure, depending on where the seizure takes place in the brain, it can have many manifestations, and that's why seizures look so different. If you were to have a seizure in one part of your brain that controlled your motor ability, the seizure manifestation would be movement of that part of your body. There are other areas in your brain that function to serve emotion or sensation, and if you were to have an electrical discharge in one of those areas in the brain, you might feel a sensation in your body or you might feel a abnormal, not abnormal emotion, a regular emotion, but an, at an abnormal time. Patients often ask, how do I know for sure that I've had a seizure? And that can be very difficult to answer because sometimes patients don't know that they've had a seizure. The, usually the best way to tell that if you've, had a, if you've had a seizure is if you have something that happens, if it recurs and it's recurrent and it's the same each time, then it's more likely to represent a seizure. However, oftentimes a patient themselves won't remember or won't know that they've had a seizure. And the only way that they can tell that they've had a seizure is if someone says, you know, I was talking to you and you didn't respond to me and you were kind of just looking around or you were picking up a pencil and it, it just seemed like you weren't there. When someone has a seizure, the best thing to do is to help them to the ground and then to protect them from injuring their head or any part of their body. The seizure itself isn't in the muscles of the body, so holding the muscles of the body won't help to stop the seizure because the seizure will continue as the electrical discharge in the brain. Complex partial seizures involve usually staring um, and some type of behavior that's, that we call automatisms. Um, it can involve picking at things, picking at the clothes, or fumbling with objects. And there can be alteration in consciousness so that the person is unaware of their surroundings or maybe aware of their surroundings but unable to communicate. A generalized tonic-clonic seizure starts with a tonic phase and that's where the body stiffens. And then there's a clonic phase, and during that phase, there's jerking of the legs and arms. Most people uh, refer to generalized tonic-clonic as grand mal. Grand mal is an old uh, name. It's a word that we try not to use anymore for generalized tonic-clonic seizures. Patients of Northern California and the Bay Area will find the Epilepsy Foundation of Northern California to be an invaluable resource and they can be found easily online.